Let's bring on Big Dog now. This is just Joker here. When I first met David Sharp, he was like all basketball. Go Gator. <laughs> That's my favorite. Player. Now he goes to the combine, measures some 6'6", six, six, and what did, I, what did I say, over 330? David, you there? Yes, yeah, sir. Hello? What was, that, what was that official weight at the combine, Big Dog? Uh, I was 343. That's what I'm talking about. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Doing good. Doing good. Thanks for coming on, man. And uh, how was the combine? What it, was it? What you expected? Uh, definitely. Uh, we were. I was at an IMG Academy, so they prepared me pretty, pretty well for it. But yeah, it was pretty long, man. A long week. You know, a lot of long days, early mornings, a lot of hurry up and wait. But it was a. Uh, it was a great experience. So you you've been training out at IMG? Yep. In oh, with my boy Quincy Avery. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Q's down there. Yeah. Um. So tell me, uh, is that when going into the combine, what was kind of the, what was your biggest goal, Dave? Like, what was what was it you needed to show people to just eliminate whatever doubt they had? Oh, um, you know, just something like a move a little bit, you know, for my size and you know, my weight. Um, so I'm showing my classroom smarts, you know, football smarts. I can speak pretty well. Um. And just you know, just to get them and let them know me and, and my background, and you know, you know, just how I'm motivated about the game, and I want to be a, a, a great NFL player. Yeah, yeah. You got something, James? But I just want to know. I mean, just all right. Talk about again the the the, the entire experience because we talked with um um D Walk a little bit ago. Just walk people through what your what was it three days that you were there. Five. five. So walk them through the um the the five day process and and some of the so, something out some of the the good the bad weird ugly that you kind of went through that was there. Um. Uh, I guess the I start out with the good. The good uh just you know being able to talk to all those coaches. You know me and some of the the head coaches. You know Sean met with Sean Payton, Pete Carroll, and I got to meet Elway. You know from Denver. You know, just uh, Don Rivera, you know, all the, all those guys, um, being able to talk to them, you know, talk football with those guys and, and meet them. And that was just a great experience, you know, a little starstruck. Um, and then go, and then competing with the best, you know, that on, on Friday, you know, with the top guys, having fun out there, um, motiv motivating each other, you know, that was fun too. So I guess the bad would be, you know, just like I said, just going through, that medical stuff, um, having to wake up, you know, 4 a.m. for that drug test and then go to the doctors, you know, get tugged and pulled on, um, like six, the same thing six different times by, you know, different doctors in the, of, of the NFL, you know, doing that all day. The uh, food was pretty bad. <laughs> um, See, I thought you were going to lead with the good being all the free gear you got. Oh yeah, yeah, that too, that too, that too. The free gear was pretty cool. You they know, load you up. Yeah, pretty good. Got a, about three, four pair of cleats. You know, some a, a Nike gear, a couple pair of shoes. It was cool. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so you, we mentioned earlier six six three forty three. Is that what you? Is that about where you wanted to be? No, no. I'm um, actually I, I lost. I was at three fifty five at the end of the season. I played at that all season, and I was at IMG, and I lost about ten pounds. So uh, I'm still going down. I'm trying to get it down about 335, 330, and, and I'll be fine. That's where you want to be for pro day? Uh, I'm going to try to get there. I'll be close, but I'm, I'm not sure I'll be there, but I'll be close. But, da I mean, da James, you've seen David a lot. I mean, mm -hmm. David at 343 is not like your average cat at 343. Well, it ain't fat. Have they done your body comp? What's your body percent? Your body fat percent? You going to put that man's business like, out like that? It was it was a twenty six, something like that. Oh no, nah, he got it. He can lose if he gets in. I mean, it's not bad. But he gets in the twenties. Yeah, he'd be where he needs to be. At. He'll be shredded. I mean, he's long, so that helps. So I mean, like three three forty three on five ten looks a lot different than three forty three <laughs> on six six. You know, I'm heading towards that, David. <laughs> hey, all right. So I got a, I got a kind of a uh, a question since I've known you for a minute here. So when you're a, you know a tenth grader walking into Providence High School to come play uh, basketball for Jim Martin. And would you, did you ever think, and have you thought about this lately, that you would be some five years later participating in the NFL combine? Uh, 
I did. I did and I didn't. You know, I, uh, I definitely, you know, basketball was more of a focus. You know, I had love for both, but, you know, uh, I came to Providence, you know, the hoop. So, you know, it was definitely a big switch. But um, I didn't, uh, I kind of didn't see it, you know, so it was crazy. Yeah, it, it, you know what's cool, and, and David, I, I hope you're cool with me talking about this, but, but David's recruitment out of high school was one of the coolest things I've ever seen because we used to have this play, James, and it, it, we were there at the same time where we would do a receiver, wide receiver screen, but not like your traditional where the other receiver blocks. We'd pull David from tackle. Mm. And so the first play, I don't know if you remember this, David, but on the highlight film that we sent out before his senior year yeah. was him going to get step Durham. And going all oh, yeah. the way from tackle, all the way out there, and 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 I mean, I heard, and I'm sure you did too, David, from probably 20 schools that said we watched that play and saw his athleticism, and we immediately called and offered the guy. And and it's just so you know when we talk six six three forty three, we're talking six six three forty three and an athlete now. That's kind of tough. That's a tough to block corner. Yeah, yeah, Division one corner, especially at um in the high school level. I mean, that's you gotta you gotta know how to take it. You gotta have a good idea of angles then. Um, it's hard to do in college. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, it's hard to do so for I, a fullback. I'll ask you the same question I asked to Marcus a little while ago, David. Have you thought about that phone call, man? Have you thought about, you know, what is it, two months from now, getting that phone call, seeing the area code, knowing that somebody's calling to draft you to be a professional football player? Uh, it's, it's crazy, man. Like, I, I just, you know, accomplished one of my goals again to the combine, and then, you know, that's the next one, so. I've definitely thought about it, man, but, you know, it's crazy. It's, it's it's all coming fast, man. How's Dad doing? He's doing well. He's yeah. doing well. He excited? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's very excited. You know, he watched it, and he was happy. You know, jumping around. You know, my mom, too, so, you know, they're happy. Are you going to do everything at the pro day? No, I'm probably just going to do this at the pro day. Excellent. Were you happy with 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 overall with your performance in the combine? Is there anything that you I looked did. at and went, man? I thought I was going to test better. Uh, a lot of my numbers, man. I tested better at training than I did at the combine. Um, I mean, I I I feel like you know I could have did a little better in some things, but you know, you know, talking to the coaches, you know, a lot of that stuff really doesn't matter. You know. Well, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm um, you know, save you some of the headache with some of that. It's 32 watches up there, dog. You got you done ran 32 different 40 times. Right. <laughs> I can tell you, like, that, no, none of them trust that laser, but that laser is unforgiving, bro. Like, it's very hard to emulate that in, in training. That laser, it's man, very, it like, got me sad. Dog. Yeah, yeah, trust me, <laughs> trust me. It's a lot. It was. I remember going through that process 11 years ago. God, I'm getting old, <laughs> but um. It was a lot of dudes like, man, I'm finna run this four. I'm running this four six in there, four eight. Yeah. You're like, ooh, it's <laughs> a long way off. But then you know you go to pro day, and then a lot of time, like I said, it's hand time. Then I remember, um, you know, I I ran a four, I think four seven five, if I remember correctly. And then a guy told me he had me at one guy told me he had four me at four six, and one guy told me he had me at four eight five. And I'm like, gee, I know I ain't that slow, but it, it's yeah. thirty two different, thirty two. Um, actually, it's more than that, but. It's all them scouts in there got a different watch with a different time. And whatever, if somebody likes you, you ran the time they want it. If somebody, eh, you might have ran a little slower. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah. Uh, training, yeah. I had, you know I had a, Oh, go ahead, Dave. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I had tested. In training, I ran a 40. I ran a, a 5 1, man. And, and then, you know, I got there and it was like a 5 3, 5 4. And I'm like, damn. So, <laughs> hey, we talked about that, this earlier about your the 19 reps on bench. And, right. and, and the, you know, we were talking about that's impressive to us. because And not because of, of strength-wise, but you got arms for days. Right. So, I mean, were you happy with that? I was pretty happy. I mean, I was the longest guy there, you know, out of the line. So, you know, I was pretty happy about it. I mean, uh, I wanted 20 really bad. But, you know, I, I, a lot of people, a lot of them said I, 19 was fine. So, I mean, I guess it was okay. Question at Florida, did y'all do the hand clean or y'all do power clean? Man, we that kind of messed me up too because we did a lot of Olympic lifts and stuff, man, and we didn't really work on that bench. That's what I'm gonna say. What, so what, what's little, your clean? Uh, it's up there. We 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 clean with in kilos, we didn't really clean in weight. I really don't remember. Mm. So, well, no, nah, if he's doing if he's cleaning a lot, then that's all that I care about. So, bench talk about the ready. decision to to forego the senior year. I think I think it was a lot of people were a little surprised 
And, and, and I, David, I'll be honest, I was one of them, man. I thought, okay, all right, you know, one more year at Florida, and then David's going to come out and be, you know, what, what went into that decision to go ahead and, and declare early? Um, you know, just sat down with my coaches and my mom and dad, and, and uh, I pretty much learned everything I could at the collegiate level, man. And, and um, I had a pretty good year against some of those top guys. And uh, I, you know, I held my own against some of those top guys, and um, I just thought it was best, you know. So, yeah, yeah. Question too, going back to the combine stuff, and, and even with all of this stuff. So, one of the medical things that came out, and you know, maybe you can explain to people why it doesn't affect it, and, and, and you, you know, you've been obviously able to play at a high level. They talked about your eye. What do you? What, what, what could you explain to us a little bit about that, and just uh, why yeah, it doesn't I, matter? It, it, it doesn't affect me at all. Um, it was a little problem I had when I had a, a cataract at the age of six removed from my eye. And, uh, you know, the reporter guy said I was legally blind, which is a very you know, false statement. Um, I can see out of the eye. It's just a little blurry. But, uh, yeah, I had a cataract removed when I was six out of my right eye. You know, but it's never really affected me. I've been treated to this day, so. That's good because there's a lot of people worried about that. See, we got some breaking news right there. Yeah. We got to clear this stuff up. Yeah, there we go. Clear up this falsehood. Man. There we Tell go. We can man. go ahead and tweet it out. Yeah, David Shark got 20-20 vision, man. David Get Shark off my man. See, man. <laughs> 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 he came on the sports day and is healed. Yeah. Uh, That's what we're going to tweet out. Hey, um, we'll talk, talk about draft night. What's, what's the plans? What Were you, were you going to be at home? What are you, what are you doing? Uh, you know, it depends, man. I'm not certain. Uh, Pops is already talking about he wants to have something around at the house, so. Uh, that would be cool. So you we know, got an invite. Gotta, to, we got an invite to D Walks. So can your pops can grill? Does anybody in your family know how to grill? Hey, hey, man, my the pops is the best grill in in, in Jacksonville. Can we man. get I'll some? Can, can we get? Can we? I mean, I come mm-hmm. over there. I ain't gonna wear no orange and blue. <laughs> I promise not. I promise not to wear garden and gold. But I just come over there and get oh, some ribs, though, man, bro. You're- Hey, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, I played as I played as state, baby. But I'm, a, <laughs> but for some ribs, for some pork, some pork ribs, or something like that. Man. For some ribs, I'll go. I'll go there. And, I'm a Gator fan. I'll go, I'll go there all orange yeah, and blue. I'll, I'll go, you man. Come, yeah, you can come get the ribs, man. But we'll give it to you on the orange and blue plate. Man. <laughs> uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. I, I'll, I'll, I'll take that, man. I'll take it. He said, as long as there's enough ribs where you can't see the orange. Yeah, and blue. I'm gonna fill that plate. <laughs> all the way around, man. But, no, it, 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 you know what, David? It's cool, man. It, it's 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 cool as we all get a little bit older and see all you guys come through Jacksonville. And, and how many? I mean, there were, what, four guys from Jacksonville at the combine yeah. this week? Yeah, me, Isaiah, DeMarcus, and... Nate? Nate, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Peterman. And then next year, I already, I already... And you know about this guy, too, David. I already told everybody... The talk of the combine next year is going to be Marquise Haynes. That dude is yeah. going to test <laughs> off the charts. Marquise will test well. Chris Jones, Steph will probably get invited. I mean, it's going to be a good amount of guys next year. Yeah. Is there a little 904 pride that goes in up there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah man. We see each other. You know, we talk, I talked to Isaiah a little bit. So I'm that locked up to uh, the Marquise, too. So uh, it's definitely it's great to see, man, all those guys from the city there, man. Yeah. So where do they have you? What What are some of the the, the mo- or some of the projections or things that your agents here? What are you thinking? And where? And also, oh. actually, outside of that, where would you like to go? Uh, I want to uh, at least top three rounds. Um, I was before, you know, they were telling me to go back or whatever. And then as soon as I present, or as soon as I declare, you know, I jump the third round. So I don't know, like I don't know where. Uh, a lot of um, I've been hearing a lot of good talk, a lot of positive talk, you know. So. You know, my my old coach called me. A lot of coaches called him and talking positive and stuff like that. So I don't know where I end up, man. To be honest, so to be anywhere. Well, I'll just make it more fun, man. Can I ask him about coach? What are we you asking about? about no, we can't. we can't. No. Are you serious, James? No. I mean, We're a professional radio show. Just We're saying, not going to ask him about his coach's he see, teeth. He sees. No. He sees Max teeth. No. What are your thoughts on Coach Max teeth, bro? Can we get him? <laughs> to, can we get? Can we get the things fixed, bro? <laughs> Can you, is that, if he gets drafted, if you don't get answer draft, that question. If you get drafted, can you send him a I am not going to let you do this to if, my man. Hey, on draft night, if we give you a laser whitening no. gift card from Dr. Capasso, <laughs> do you think you can slide, you can figure out how to get that to coach back? Yeah, I'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm not going there with you. <laughs> I'm not going there with you. <laughs> That's smart, man. You got you to gotta go back home to I am school. not That's letting smart. you. That's are, smart to do that. See, see, James, I can't. I was good with DeMarcus. <laughs> 
<laughs> and now you got to do this when a gator comes on. I was just, I man, we, we you see the crap I put up with. We Shark? haven't talked about Coach Max Teeth the entire show. Yeah. So, yeah. well, David, man, I'm proud of you, bro. I really Good am, stuff, man. man. I, and I, I can't wait to see where you end up. The minute you end up there, I'm buying a hat. I'm a fan. Sounds good, man. Just let me know. I got you a ticket, man. There we go. That's what I like to hear, and I will see you on draft night, I promise you. I mean, keep training hard, brother. All right, man. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. Good kid, man. Yeah, man. That was awesome. That's good. Yeah, it really is. And it, it is really so cool. Just And I know you know what I'm talking about, man. We see these kids when they're in 10th grade, 11th grade, whatever it is. You know, and Dave is a perfect example. This big old joker, just long and thin. Mm -hmm. And you just go... This, and then you see him practice, and you go, like, this kid's got a chance. But even then, the odds are so slim. Even if you are 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six in 10th grade, but then just to see him develop and actually now know that they're going to get a chance to play in the NFL is just a really, really cool thing. Really cool thing. And, I, and I'll give one guy credit. Baselli used to say all the time, Baselli rode sharp. I mean, he was on him all the time. And Baselli used to say all the time, man, I wish I had this kid's athletic ability. Yeah. So... Best of luck to all the locals, especially David and uh, DeMarcus. Thanks for coming on the Sports Den. We